Uh, people often come to see me with uh, loose teeth, wondering why they're loose. There are a number of reasons for loose teeth, of course, but the most common ones are either infection associated with the pulp in the tooth or the nerve tissue uh, in the tooth and the second one is gum disease. I guess apart from the obvious ones, trauma, uh, falling over, a tooth becoming loose, so that situation is, is pretty obvious. The less obvious ones are the ones when people haven't had trauma and they, uh, they've noticed their teeth loosening up and they don't know why. Uh, the most common situation is gum disease, ongoing gum disease, and surprisingly until teeth become loose, people often don't realise that they've got it. It's often hidden, often there are no symptoms. Sometimes people notice bleeding. Bleeding is the first sign of gum disease. But bleeding seems to be accepted by most people as normal. But no, it's not normal. It's, it's a form of gum disease. And in fact, if you do experience bleeding, it is best to uh, get it checked out by a dentist. Now what happens with gum disease is uh, plaque and tartar, which is billions of bacteria in our mouths, absolutely everyone has it. It will build up on our teeth and it will cause low grade uh, gum disease. It starts with a condition that's called gingivitis, which is a milder form of it, but over a long long time, if it goes untreated, what happens is uh, gums and underlying bone get infect, uh, infected and affected by this uh, plug buildup and bone recedes. Unfortunately bone can't be regenerated, uh, it keeps receding over time and there is less anchorage for the tooth and slowly, slowly, slowly teeth become loose. And unfortunately, uh, at late stage of gum disease, it can't be treated. The only treatment is to remove the teeth and replace them. However, in its early stages, we have very, very effective treatment. So do get your uh, bleeding gums checked out. The second one, uh, the second cause of loosening teeth that I mentioned was infection associated with the nerve and the pulp of the tooth. Uh, most people, if they do have a tooth infection, they usually know because there is commonly quite severe pain associated with it. However, that's not always the case. Uh, sometimes a nerve can die in the tooth without any pain at all and the only way that infection can go is inside the jaw, within the bone, and it destroys and dissolves bone around the tooth. Luckily, nine out of 10 times, this condition can be easily treated with root canal treatment, and surprisingly, that bone can actually be regenerated a lot of the times. But that usually tends to happen to one tooth rather than uh, to be uh, generalized throughout the mouth, uh, as, opposed, uh, as would happen in gum disease. So if you have loose teeth, uh, can you do anything about it at home? Absolutely, but that would only apply to gum disease. Once your gum disease is diagnosed and treated, uh, good home oral care is essential. In fact, it's probably more effective and significant than what we do here. Not to uh, dismiss the importance of um, dental treatment uh, in this situation because that's worth 30% of the treatment. The other 70 is um, is what you do at home and there is just absolutely nothing a dentist can do for you uh, unless you maintain good uh, home care uh, and the combination of both generally results in very good healing. But uh, with end-stage gum disease, and I do see, uh, unfortunately I do see a lot of people with end-stage gum disease, uh, the only way to treat that is to remove the teeth and have them replaced, and that's usually with dentures or uh, implants.